In this video, we're going to take a look and see how we can actually improve this portrait. Love the angle, love the pose of the model, like the light in the way it's coming through from this direction here. But uh, let's take a look. It's a little bit on the dark side. We're going to come straight across to the Layers panel using Command J or Control J to duplicate the background layer. First stage, we're going to go to the Blend Modes, changing it from Normal dropping down to a screen. That looks pretty good and look at the way it sort of improves the lighting. You can of course with this reduce the opacity down if you want to but I think that looks pretty good where it is. Alright, I'll tell a lie, take it down a touch or two. Just looking to get a little bit more detail in the skin tone around the cheek. I just noticed the way that was just slightly a little bit uh, on the bright side so just toning down the opacity. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at softening down the skin, just removing some of the skin blemishes. Now at the moment we're working on the screen blend mode, that's what it looks like. So what we need to do is put these layers into a new layer. So clicking on the new layer, holding down the Alt or the Option key, going to Layer, dropping down to just off the screen it's Merge Visible, we'll pop all of these layers into this new layer here. With this new layer we're going to right click and we're going to choose Convert to Smart Object, exactly the same as if you were to go to Filter and you were to go to Convert to Smart Filter. Smart Filters, Smart Objects essentially are the same thing. While we're on the Filter menu, we're going to go to Blur, we're going to drop down to Surface Blur. This is what we're going to be using. You can see the way you've got the preview tick there, so you can see it happening live on the uh, image itself as well. You may need to experiment with these figures. I'm working with a particularly small file here and uh, some of them it depends on the resolution. You may want to take as high as uh, around about that figure like that. It's taking the threshold up as well. Just using the threshold to balance it you can see you get that real sort of uh, Bobby doll look I suppose for want of a better word. I'm just going to tone it back but play with the numbers on this. There are no right and no wrong ways. Just sort of give it a try. See what looks good with your picture there. Dropping it back a little bit. Just look and see some freckles coming through on the nose. That's the sort of area and we're going to click OK to that. Now the beauty with this is that using a smart filter enables us to double click on those uh, little double parallel arrows there even. Coming through we're going to go straight to the opacity and we're just going to drop the opacity down. Again preview is checked so we can come and we can just see the way that's coming through there. There we've just got a little bit more skin detail coming through. I like the way that's looking. Don't forget this is completely adjustable so we're going to click OK to that. The next job is I want to bring through some more details around the eyes, the lips and into the hair clicking on the mask. So we've now removed it. You see the framework around the image itself, around the thumbnail. We're now dropping down. The framework is now around the mask. Set the default colors to black and white. Coming through, picking up the gradient tool. We're going to go to the radial gradient, clicking in the little window, making sure we've got the foreground to transparent. That is important, foreground to transparent. Click OK. I tend to like reducing the opacity down to 70%. That just allows you to sort of have a couple of bites of the cherry rather than blasting it in one go. So that looks pretty good like that. Coming in, just going to drag it out. Through we go like that, just bringing back the detail of the eyes, the eyebrows. There you are, look a little less painterly. That looks pretty good like that. Into the other eye, the bottom eyelashes. Yeah, I know all the technical words for these bits and pieces. The lips. Round we go, just bring in a little bit through there. And the same with the hair. We're just going to bring back, just going to remove the blurring from the hair just to give some of that uh, lovely texture that this particular model has. That looks brilliant. I think her name is Rebecca. Yes, it is. I've just checked the sort of the title. Clever or what? Through we come. Great stuff. There it is. And just removing that area there. Right, and you can see the mask there looking pretty scary, but the mask enables us. It's just going through to the background. You can see we can just bring through little bits and pieces. I like the look of that. Working pretty well so far. Okay, the next thing, if we just zoom in a touch or two, you can just see where we've reduced the opacity. I'm quite keen to keep the original sort of skin. You can see some of the little bits and pieces coming through. Perhaps around the area of the eye there, we just want to tidy this up a little bit. We're going to put in a new empty layer. We're going to come across, we're going to pick up the paintbrush. We're going to come up, I'm going to take the opacity back up to 100%. Just press 
zero on the keyboard is a quick way of doing that. Clicking on the airbrush, so we're now using the airbrush tool, and with the flow, I'm going to press 2, which gives me a flow rate of 20%. You can see my brush, if I just right click, it's zero, so it's a very soft edge brush, just taking it down just a little bit in size to that sort of area there, just clicking off to remove it, drop down. Pressing I on the keyboard brings up the eyedropper tool. Clicking down, we've made a selection of the colour. You'll notice the foreground colour changing. Pressing the letter B will give me the brush. And what we're going to do now is just gently come over this and just eye brush that out. And you can see the way it's just brightening up around the area of the eye. Just pressing the eye again, just picking up a little bit more of the pinky colour. Pressing B again, back we go to the brush. Just extending it a little bit further. That looks pretty good. Coming over to the size of the nose here, just picking up the colour from there. Once again, pressing B. And this is where we're now sort of airbrushing in the detail. Coming through, pressing I again, clicking down, pressing B again, and just sort of painting up, just getting rid of that sort of highlight on the tip of the nose. Clicking down, pressing B again, and just bringing that through. There it is, like that. And just pressing I again, you begin to get the picture now, I can tell. Right through we come, just bringing that through there nicely. That looks pretty good. Just taking a look. There's a few small blemishes here and here. Now, with this, let's just take a look. It does help if you do rename what you are actually doing so you know exactly what's happened. That's the skin. We're going to put in another new empty layer here. We're just going to double click. We're going to put in what is going on to this one. And it's his blemishes. Right. And coming in, with the patch tool, we've got the spot healing brush. Right, reducing this down in size. I have got sample all layers checked. There's just one small mark there. We're just going to take a look. Gone. Little mark there. Take a look. Gone. Just, just gently go over it. I'm actually using a graphics tablet, so I just press down, increase the size. There it is there. One small mark there. Gone again. Right, coming back. Let's go back to our skin. Let's press I on the keyboard. We have now have got the eyedropper tool. We're going to click down. That's the color we've selected. Pressing B again. Back, back it comes. Don't forget, we've still got the same settings. Just reducing this down. And you can see the way we can come in and just correct that. Did a little bit over the edge there. I deliberately did that so I can show you. Yep, yeah, right. So I can show you how you can just pick up the eraser tool and just come through and correct that if you want to there. So just bringing that back. And that was the reason for my deliberate mistake with that one. Pressing I again, moving swiftly on, right, clicking down, pressing B on the keyboard one more time for our brush tool, dropping it down in size, don't forget it's the airbrush we're using, and it just helps to get rid of those skin blemishes like that, and pressing I again, we're going to come up here this time, pressing B again, and we go through. Once you start working, it really is a very, very quick and easy way to come through there, just looking, yeah, I quite like the way that's working around that area job just about done. Right, for the next stage, the eyes. Putting in a, another new empty layer. We're going to change the blend mode from normal to color. We're going to double click where it says layer 3 and we're going to call this eyes because she has two. Clicking down, picking up or pressing I on the keyboard for the eyedropper tool. Clicking in that sort of dark area of the blue there. There it is. If we just click down, just here, we're going to lighten this up a bit. So bringing this through like that would be pretty good. So that was the current. There's the new. Just click OK to that. Pressing B for the brush tool. Dropping it down in size. I'm going to uncheck the airbrush. And I'm going to press 0 to take me back. Or even click on the slider and take us back to 100%. Clicking down. Round we come like that. And you can see the way we can just change the color of the eyes slightly. See how that looks? If you think, no, want a bit bluer, we can make it a bit bluer. Just lifting the slider up, click OK, round we come. Don't worry. <laughs> this is just the first stage in case you're thinking, gosh, that doesn't look particularly natural or whatever you're going to think. Round we come like that. There it is. Next, don't be afraid. Come to the opacity slider. Reduce that down. We still want to blend it. The color blend mode, if you just change it to normal, you can see the effect it's got does yeah, the really paint to the effect. Nice. Not. Colour. 
allows you to see through and now just reduce this down and it's just a subtle change we're after there from that to that just brings through the color in the eyes just makes them a little bit more sort of uh, noticeable as such you can do exactly the same for the lips but I think the color on the model's lips here are particularly good so we'll leave that as it is again you can tidy up the edges just come around with the eraser tool if you need to like that